I've always asked myself, what makes an MMO so good? It's not the flashy graphics, or the character customization, nor the combat, or the dungeons and raids. It's the lasting impact that stays with you, the place in your heart that you've kept there waiting for its return. That feel of nostalgia when you think about it, and all the good times you've had playing it. Sometimes though, opportunities won't allow you to go back and revisit those feelings. The game has either been discontinued, or the servers have shut down due to inactivity. Sure, the community of devoted fans will come together and create a private server to continue playing their beloved title, but it just doesn't feel the same. It's not the official game played on real servers anymore. It's hard to bring yourself to be okay with that. I recently played the Warhammer Online private server and reveled in the nostalgic feels from so long ago. These feelings were immediately muted, however, with the consistent bugs and server disconnections, which just wasn't the same. With the rise of WoW Classic on the horizon, I commend companies wanting to allow their long-term devoted fans to relive the past. But there's one title that has forever left me with a state of euphoria, and the amazing thing is, it's still living to this very day. This is Guild Wars. Now, I'm not going to go on a long rant about why you should be playing Guild Wars if you never had, nor will I say that you should be playing it in the first place. Guild Wars has aged, and it's only going to continue that way the older it gets. Funny how life works, am I right? I simply want to explain why Guild Wars is still to this very day an enjoyable experience. Right off the start, you're introduced to all the unique classes within the game, such as Warrior, Ranger, Monk, Necromancer, Mesmer, and Elementalist. With the Factions expansion includes Assassin and Ritualist, with the Nightfall expansion including Paragon and Dervish making a total of 10 classes. Each class comes with an arsenal of unique abilities and weapons as well as their own playstyle giving you a different experience each time you start a new adventure. Once you get a feel for your class, you get the wonderful option to pick a secondary class to help complement that main class that you love so much. The options are endless, and melding your favorite abilities to your playstyle is exciting and invigorating. For instance, if I wanted to be an axe-swinging warrior who wanted to raise minions to fight alongside me, I have the option to do so. The storyline, followed by the hilariously bad voice acting, is also enjoyable and questing is right alongside the average MMOs that came around the early 2000s. You'll have companions that will follow you throughout your endeavors, and you have the opportunity to find unique followers throughout your missions and even gear them up to be more useful when things tend to become more difficult. Guild Wars doesn't have any big raids, but the endgame is still filled with zones of hard-to-beat enemies that has tons of valuable loot that is worth the time finding a group for. And now we move on to the thing that made Guild Wars so famous, it's PvP. Now it's nothing special by any means, but Guild Wars introduced the arena-style PvP into the MMO universe and it's nothing shorter than fun. Guild Wars wouldn't have its title if it wasn't for guilds coming together to take down other guilds. The top guilds within the game are well known and their insignia is flashed all over the server, making them renowned for killing your friends. The Guild Wars community is still thriving, and you can tell the minute you walk into the major town. Guilds still welcome you into their ranks, and each one of them that I've come into contact with are super helpful and willing to pass knowledge down where you'll need it. These are just some of the reasons why Guild Wars has a special place beside me. It holds some of the best memories of my MMO past, and revisiting them makes everything so much better. Now that I've been writing a high for the majority of the video, it's time to address some of the game's shortcomings. And I say shortcomings lightly because these play a huge role in Guild Wars. It can be a bit difficult to understand for new players, however, it's an easy system to navigate. 
Knowing where to go after you've finished a main chapter storyline can be a bit confusing. The level cap is only 20 and is easily achievable, so sometimes to a new player, you feel lost and wonder what needs to be done next after the fact. Once you've progressed through the story and start getting into the more challenging missions, you'll need to build up your team of companions and picking and choosing which to tag along is extremely important. That is, if you can't find other players to tag alongside you. Which is pretty common because there's not really a lot of people in the lower level areas. If this is done incorrectly, you'll face dying a lot in Guild Wars, and with each death, you have a penalty that reduces your overall life and makes you more vulnerable. There are unique bosses that you can kill that will reduce this penalty and raise your overall HP over max, but these can be hard to kill, especially with the deficit to your life pool. This game also takes place before a major item market was introduced, so selling items can be a bit tedious, and the only way to do so is to stay in town and spam a message every so often. Now these so-called shortcomings may seem a little terrifying at first, but they're what makes Guild Wars so rememberable. You see, MMOs today just don't cut it on the difficulty factor. I feel as if each one of them spoon feeds items and upgrades so much that you never learn or understand the struggle of getting to endgame. Hitting that level cap should feel like crossing a finish line with the roar of fans cheering your name, only to be greeted with another race to start. To me, this is what we've been missing all this time. So next time when I ask myself what makes a good MMO, it's all the elements that make up a title such as Guild Wars. It's the feeling that I get when I look into the past and notice that the great age of MMOs have come and gone, but the good thing about it is, I can go back and relive them. I can put myself in Ascalon, fighting off the Char, and walking through the snowy Dwarven Blue Mountains, finally conquering prophecies all over again. So I hope you find that nostalgic MMO that brings you back to a childhood, or a place where you spent countless hours hacking and slashing your way throughout the night. Mine will be here. Yours might start here too. And that adventure can begin right now. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, it's a pleasure to see all the feedback that you've left me throughout my previous videos. If you want to stay up to date, click that subscribe button for new content, and if you enjoy the video, click that like button. If you want to catch everything that you've missed so far, head on over to my channel where I'll continue on with my Let's Replay segments. I'll see you guys next time, and the next place, in the next video.